Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at andito ulit tayo ngayon para sa isang PC Build Guide. Well, uh, medyo kakaiba pa rin ang ating boses dahil nagpapagaling pa lang po tayo pero I will still try my best para maipakita sa inyo ang ating PC Build Guide for Intel Core i7-9700K at a 100K plus budget. Ngayon, uh, with all of the AMD choices na lumabas sa ating market, latest processors, bakit Intel ang aking pinili? So yan po yung sasagutin natin in the end of the video. Bakit nga ba nag-Intel Core i7-9700K tayo at 100K plus budget? Okay, so since medyo nagtitipid tayo sa boses, diretso na tayo kaagad sa ating PC build. And of course, for more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe and comment down below if you have any suggestions and uh, feedback about this video. Okay, so for the chassis, I choose to have the uh, NZXT H510 Elite dahil nga nagkaroon ng price cut from uh, 9K plus nasa less than 1.5 na ngayon. And then for the cooler, I chose to have the NZXT AIO para at least kahit papaano mag-complement yung chassis and yung AIO. Dahil pag una mong tinignan ang isang build, unang-una mong mapapansin dyan is hindi naman yung processor, yung memory, kundi yung chassis at the same time, yung nasa centerpiece na block ng AIO. So, since medyo umabot ng 100K plus yung budget, mas maganda rin na i-consider din natin yung magiging forma or aesthetics ng ating build. And that is what I have. NZXT X62 for the AIO and NZXT H510 Elite for the chassis. Parehas po nagkaroon ng price cut. The NZXT X62 dating nasa 7 to 8K plus pero ngayon nasa 6 plus na lang po mga kaibigan. So you may now check your uh, uh, favorite stores if they have the price cut pagdating sa mga NZXT lineup. And then moving on to the processor, of course, the Intel Core i7-9700K. Malalaman nyo po ang sagot kung bakit ito po yung processor na ginamit natin pagdating ng benchmarks. And then for the motherboard, I chose to have the Z390 Aorus Master. Of course, it comes with this very good VRM heatsink na uh, direct contact din ang mga heat pipes doon sa kanyang VRM. So, this is to assure that this motherboard will really last long with this kind of unlock processor na Intel Core i7-9700K. And uh, for the RAM, I go for the G-Skills Trident Royal 2x8 16GB. So, ang maganda kasi dito sa Trident or yung forma ng Trident is uh, babagay doon sa Gigabyte. Well, Uh, gigabyte sana yung ating uh, pipiliin na uh, memory or RAM pero since this is a client build we chose to lean kung ano talaga yung gusto niya na mag G skills and nung titingnan mo naman yung forma ng G skills uh, bumabagay naman siya dun sa mga angular na designs ng Aorus and uh, for the uh, power supply we go for the Seasonic 850 watts gold I think meron ding price cut doon sa mga Seasonic 850 watts uh, gold focus plus lately na 1000 pesos from 69 to 59 pero I just don't know kung naglaps na po yun mga kaibigan. And uh, for the storage, he go for the uh, 970 500 gig Evo and pagdating naman sa hard drive is 1 tera since hindi naman niya daw kailangan ng masyadong malaking storage and uh, parang Uh, just for the sake na may pagsaban lang siya ng mga extra files or extra storage na kailangan niya sa kanyang uh, gaming uh, experience. And then, since ang usapan is gaming, ibig sabihin, we chose to have also the RTX 2080 Super. So, medyo kapos na sa budget, limited na sa budgets, kaya hindi na namin nagawang uh, mag-RTX 2080 Ti. And actually, initially, ang balak sana is Intel Core i9 pero makakapos talaga yung budget, mag a adjust at mapipilitan kami mag-adjust sa RTX 2070 Super. And uh, for my decision na ang gusto niya is for pure gaming, kaya mas minabuti ko ng mag-Intel Core i7-9700K and have a better video card na RTX 2080 Super. So for a 100K plus budget, I think this is already the best choice pagdating sa pure 
gaming activity at 100k plus. Ngayon dito ko ngayon sasagutin mga kaibigan yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nag Intel Core i7 9700K. Now if you have noticed mga kaibigan, kanina ko pa sinasabi yung pure gaming. Well, this build is actually for pure gaming talaga kaya po tayo nag Intel. Now if you look at the benchmark at 1440p, makikita natin dito na may advantage talaga ang Intel Core i7 9700K over the Ryzen 7 3700X with this RTX 2080 Super. When we move to other resolution like 1080p, dito na magiging very evident yung kanilang difference. The Intel Core i7 9700K talagang tinalo niya yung Ryzen 7 on all of the games na meron tayo. It's a very small margin Pero if you are just into pure gaming, this is already a very big deal para sa'yo. But how about if not? Like you are this kind of guy na uh, maglalaro, then sometimes uh, gagamitin din yung PC for uh, work, then this is the time na magkakaroon ng justification na you should go for the Ryzen. Especially that it comes with this lower price, na almost 3K ang difference na compared to the i7-9700K. In terms of video editing, makikita natin dito na tabla sila. And in terms of activities like 3D rendering, you are an architect, you are an engineer, draftsman, using your computer to render graphics in 3D. Dito makikita nyo mga kaibigan that with the blender, sobrang layo nung difference ng Ryzen 7 compared sa Intel Core i7. Bakit sobrang layo? Sobrang layo dahil mas mura siya and it comes with this better performance. So if you are into both gaming and editing and 3D rendering, Ryzen 7 is the clear winner. Pero if you will be going for pure gaming only, streaming or whatsoever activity that is related to gaming, then you don't have any doubt na mag Intel Core i7 kung yun lang po yung panggagamitan natin. Okay, so that's it mga kaibigan. Ayun, hindi ko na masyadong papahabain dahil wala na rin tayong boses. Comment lang po kayo dyan kung may mga gusto kayong uh, tanungin, linawin, and uh, suggestion for our next video. Feel free to subscribe of course and share this video on your uh, Facebook uh, social media accounts para kahit papaano makatulong din tayo sa iba. So that's it mga kaibigan. Keep posted on our next PC build, the Ryzen 7 3700. X.